Gusieva C. Giania Gusieva is mostly known for attempting to assassinate the monk Grigory Rasputin. Very little is known about her, except that she was a peasant from Sizrin, she was in her early thirties at the time, and she had no nose. Gusieva claimed the lack of nose was not from syphilis, but was instead damaged by medicines when she was younger. Many historians disagree on the exact date of the assassination attempt, but most agree it took place sometime between the last week of June and the first two weeks of July, 1914. As Rasputin was stepping out of a house to respond to a telegram, Gusieva drove a knife into his abdomen, exclaiming, I have killed the Antichrist. Gusieva then chased Rasputin down the street until he hit her in the face, and after a crowd surrounded them, she turned herself in to the authorities. She was found to be insane and spent the next three years in an asylum. It is reported that in 1919, she made another unsuccessful assassination attempt, but this time on a Russian Orthodox bishop. Sindiak C. Queen Sindiak of Silla reigned as queen regent over the Silla kingdom of Korea from 632 to 647. Her father, the king, had a few daughters but no sons to inherit his throne, and was contemplating naming his son-in-law as successor, that is, until Sindiak proved that she was worthy to rule the throne. She brought about a renaissance of art and literature, and was described as generous, benevolent, wise, and smart by many people in her court. Now, because it was not normal for a woman to rule, she faced several rebellions and invasions to challenge her authority. But, through cunning and diplomacy, she was able to beat them all back until she died in 647 of illness. Roderick C. Despite the many legends about Roderick, the last king of the Goths, very little is actually known about him. Whether by coup or invasion, he made himself the ruler of part of Hispania. Because Roderick was so preoccupied with raiding nearby countries, he never got into military conflict with the other ruler of Hispania, Aquila. Roderick led several expeditions to battle the Arabs and Berbers, and eventually died in battle in either the year 711 or 712. Garrett C. Sir Garrett was one of the Knights of the Round Table from Arthurian legend. Early on in his life, Sir Garrett wanted to prove that he was worthy of knighthood by his deeds rather than just his lineage. So, he started out as a dishwasher at Camelot and came to earn the respect of many of the knights there. Eventually, Sir Garrett slew the Black Knight and took his armor and horse, which started him on his adventures. Through a series of convoluted events, Sir Garrett defeated several more knights and made them work for King Arthur, and then proceeded to get married. Eventually, both Sir Garrett and his brother were accidentally slain by Sir Lancelot in a rescue attempt to save Guinevere. Weaver C. James B. Weaver was a member of the United States House of Representatives and twice ran for president. Born in 1833, Weaver led an active life in local politics up until the American Civil War broke out and he joined the Union Army. In the 2nd Iowa Volunteer Infantry Unit, he fought throughout the war and received a minor injury to the arm in taking Fort Donelson. After the war, he returned to politics and had a most interesting career. He changed political parties four times, ran for president twice, and became the mayor of his hometown eventually. He is often considered a visionary because most of his political goals and ideas didn't come to pass until decades after his death in 1912. Telemachus C. Telemachus is the central character in Homer's Odyssey. His father Odysseus went off to fight in the Trojan War and hadn't been seen since Telemachus was an infant. During the time that he was gone, his mother Penelope had a lot of suitors vying for her hand in marriage. So when Telemachus came of age, he left on a voyage to find his father. Eventually, he found his father and brought him back home. His father disguised himself as a beggar and joined a group of suitors that were in the palace. After all of the suitors had failed a test from Penelope to shoot Odysseus's bow, Odysseus revealed himself and together he and Telemachus slew all the other suitors.